Welcome to Basic Science Series. Today we are going to discuss about flow cytometry. Flow cytometry is a technique that detects and measures physical and chemical properties of a population of cells. A sample containing population of cells suspended in a fluid and injected into the flow cytometer instrument. The sample is focused to ideally flow one cell at a time through a laser beam and the light scattered contains highly specific information of the cells and their components. Cells are often labeled with fluorescent markers so that the light is first absorbed and then emitted in a band of wavelengths. Tens of thousands of cells can be quickly examined and the data gathered is processed by a computer software. The data is directly collected in the form of forward scattered light and side scattered light measurements. The typical plot acquired using flow cytometer looks like this, where in x-axis is the forward scattered measurements and in y-axis you have side scattered measurements. Each dot represents the individual cell or a particle. I have plotted the data using MATLAB software, but you can also get the plot using inbuilt software packages with the instrument. A flow cytometer has five main components, a flow cell, a measuring system, a detector, an amplification system, and a computer for analysis of the signals. The flow cell has a liquid stream called sheath fluid which carries and aligns the cell so that they pass as a single file through the light beam for sensing. The measuring system commonly uses measurement of impedance or conductivity. The optical system includes lamps such as mercury, xenon, high power water cooled lasers such as argon krypton dry lasers low power water cooled lasers for example argon red helium neon green helium neon and diode lasers blue green red and violet resulting in light signals the detector and analog to digital conversion called as ADC system converts analog measurements into digital signals that can be processed by a computer. In a typical flow cytometer, the amplification system can be linear or logarithmic. The process of collecting data from samples using flow cytometer is called acquisition. Acquisition is mediated by a computer physically connected to the flow cytometer. This was the basic information about the technique called flow cytometry and about the instrument called flow cytometer. I hope you like the video. If you want to support my work, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you and Namaste.